Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is take five steps a day that bring you closer to tantric sex mastery. This is a concept or an idea and it's a way of approaching any topic, any aspect of your life to gain mastery. The idea is consistency, is to keep on moving forward. Whatever step you can take that bring you closer to your goal uh, you are going to take a few steps every day and the fact that you are taking steps every day just makes you progress and sometimes those steps are very small insignificant sometimes they are really big big steps but the 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 idea or the concept is that you are moving forward so when it comes to spiritual evolution and spiritual training and uh, one of those aspects can be tantric sex but let's talk about spirituality in general you can engage with ambition and power in your spiritual exploration you know, if it wasn't for a, a desire to figure it out, a desire to become a master of your mind, a desire to, you know, climb mountains and do things which are based on ambition, it means that the ego is still evolving and the ego is engaging into these projects. You know, when, what, what is the force that is guiding you or inspiring you to actually take action? It's a desire to become a better person, which is basically, uh, you know, it's tr still driven from a place where there is an ambition and this ambition is connected with the expression of your ego or personality or the realm of your life so it's important to understand that these dynamics or this force that you have inside of you you can use them in positive ways and uh, there is nothing wrong with spiritual ambition it's like most prophets out there were very ambitious they were they were uh, driven and directed by forces that were much vaster than themselves but those forces were using them they were using their personality they were using their vehicle their incarnation vehicle to get something it's not just sitting around and doing nothing and waiting for life to change no most of the prophets that you can track in human history they took drastic steps you know, they rejected their families, they, they took off to live in the desert, they, they engaged in wars and battles, they, they tried to influence governments and, and sometimes got in real trouble for doing that. So there is a spiritual ambition and this driving force, this, this force of spiritual ambition is, is uh, the, the driving, one of the driving elements that, that uh, allows you to take action forward and focus your energy into uh, into manifesting uh, bliss, ecstasy, mystical experiences, and so on. Um, you know, when you sit down and a teacher comes to you and says, okay, from now on I want you to meditate one hour a day, uh, and uh, you're going to focus on this technique, and you do that for three months every morning with no interruption. You know, you, you go like, you are entering into a structure, we are, you are entering into a tradition, and this transition is going to tame and uh, train certain skills inside of you that are going to bring you further. So when it comes to tantric sex and using your sexual energy, you can approach sexual energy and sexual training, tantric sex training with the same kind of mindsets. So the ambition is a, is a very dangerous weapon as well, right? You can be over ambitious, you can become fanatical, and basically get extremely frustrated if you, if you don't get the result that you expect. And this is counterproductive. So you have to be subtle and smart and sometimes gentle, sometimes a bit more you know, powerful and directive in the way you engage and in the, one, the way you want to conquer this territory. But the point is that there is this energy of ambition and desire and determination and urgency, internal urgency that you can tap into and you can learn how to use that in very effective ways. It's a little bit like you're going through this river, you know, in the Grand Canyon and it's a very powerful river with lots of waves and it, it can crash you against the rocks if you are on a little boat there going down this river. But the point is that it's also an energy that moves you forward. So that's a little bit the state of your sexual energy. It means that the idea of being able to tap into that energy with power and energy is a, is a powerful one. But what is very important as well, it is that you need to function with a very clear set of values. It's not just about engaging and being ambitious, ambitious and uh, destroying whatever is on the way, okay? Because that can be also very dangerous. Um, in my own spiritual evolution, I've been sometimes extremely fanatical with my practices. For instance, at one point I started meditating, I was meditating like 12 hours a day for 
consistent, consistent periods of time for about three months, I was like on 12 hours a day meditation. It means that I was, you know, full on. I refused to lose focus. And uh, that was a very powerful experience. But at the same time, you know, you can also overdo it and, and go forward. And also when it comes to tantric sex exploration, I have been sometimes in situations where I have a lover and I know that we are tantrically connected and we enter into this discipline of engaging to the practice from a place which sometimes in my past has been a little bit rigid. It means that I was um, and I'm still sometimes fanatical about what I want to do and what I want to achieve and the way I want to engage. And that's this, this sense of determination can be a very powerful force. So it can be also something that is limiting or destructive. So you have to learn how to play with these, these energies, especially when I give you an example like that. Take five steps a day that bring you closer to tantric sex mastery. You know, that's basically a sentence that you could use that bring you closer to money mastery, to making more money or to, uh, to uh, creating a new business. So it's a mindset of determination and ambition that you can apply in all sorts of aspects of, of your life. And, um, but the point to understand is that when you engage in that direction, then be smart, be wise and be respectful. Um, it's important that you respect also your own boundaries and your own limits that you keep in tune with what's going on inside of you. And those five steps that I'm talking about can be small steps, big steps, but it's a good one to keep in mind if you want to make solid progress in the tantric sex exploration. Because if you, very often what tends to happen is that you have the ideas, like you might be watching these videos, but not apply any of that in your personal life. So the idea is that there are practices, there are ways to engage. And uh, if you don't practice, if you simply keep it on a conceptual level, that might be already interesting. But what is really bringing the shift is if you actually start practicing. If I describe to you a breathing method and a breathing technique and you go like, yeah, great, I understand how it works, it's still not having the impact until you do it. And uh, when it comes to tantric sex exploration, it's a lot about practices. It's about bringing them into reality. So uh, saying this, take five steps a day, it means that not just understanding, it's like start applying practically these things into your life. And the steps can be, you know, they can be very vast and there's a whole set of possibilities. One step might be you meet this lover and you just take a piece of chocolate and consciously put that piece of chocolate in their mouth and allow them to have a sensual experience with that piece of chocolate. I'll be one step. Okay, you just mark one point in that day. But keep that in mind and look at it a little bit like, like, a, like a game, like something that you can engage uh, into with lots of playfulness and um, enjoy and pleasure.